subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this one, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to find alternative software to those most popular software you, which you might use on a day-to-day -day basis. So a particular piece of software I use all the time is Adobe Photoshop. So, however, what I find with Adobe Photoshop, it can be quite expensive to run. And I wanna find a much cheaper version to run, which does um, very similar things. So the first thing I need to do is go into Google search. And now on here, I need to do a search for a specific website, which is called alternative2.net. So you can do a search for it in the search bar or type in the web address at the top, alternative2.net. You can either type it on here or just go straight into the search bar at the top, top here and put that web address in there. So it will come back as a first search option here. Click on that. And now what this website does, it allows you to find alternatives to those most popular apps or software out there. Now before I continue with this video, please like on the video, please subscribe to my channel, please share this video, um, and I will be ever so grateful as well. Please in the comments also write down, um, comment on which other videos you want me to um, show you or do, or you wanna see, I will more than I'll be more than happy to do that for you so this website here is a fantastic tool actually so we spoke about Adobe Photoshop being the software I want to find an alternative to at the top right hand corner here you've got a search bar and I'm going to do a search for Adobe Photoshop in there now what it does as you type the name of the software it will find all this um, different versions of that Adobe Photoshop um, software for you so that you've got the main one here you got Adobe Photoshop Express, Elements, Lightroom, Classic, Sketch, Touch, so on and so forth. The one I use um, to help me with my videos or in my day-to-day -day, um, job is Adobe Photoshop. This website here, Alternative 2, has found 221 alternatives to that software. You click on the one you want, which is that, and it will bring a page in front of you showing all the alternatives now the good thing about this website it not just only shows you the website and um, the software name as an alternative it will tell you whether you have to pay for that website or whether that web um, that software is free so this gimp one the first one it's found gimp it's a free open source um, piece of software and it will also tell you which operating systems or devices you can use that piece of software for so this one here you can use it for Mac, Windows, Linux, BSD, Snap, um, Craft, so on and so forth. But it'll also tell you um, some reviews about GIMP against Adobe Photoshop and what people's opinions of that software are. So you can make a really informed decision whether you want and that specific piece of software to replace Adobe Photoshop or not, or you can use it in conjunction with. So the next one is Affinity Photo. Again, this one, however, is a paid piece of software, so you need to pay for it. Uh, you can only download it for Mac, Windows, and iPad, and you can tell, you can also see what people have said about that software, and so for, so on and so forth. Um, Paint.net's a really good free piece of software, so is Photo P here, which is free as well, which is an online web-based program. So it gives you an idea of what all the alternatives are to Adobe Photoshop. The good thing about this software is um, this website as well. If I click, go back to the main page, click on alternative two. Now the main page, what it will do, it will show you uh, what people have been searching for to find alternatives off. So for example, people, people have been searching for an alternative to Netflix, Spotify, Adobe Illustrator, the one I've just shown you, Photoshop, YouTube, Chrome, Premiere, Facebook, so on and so forth. So these are the ones that people have been searching for the most. Uh, these are the ones um, which are the most viewed apps out there. So obviously, again, Streamio is another one, um, Chat Roulette, Adobe Photoshop, so on and so forth. Let me go to Netflix, see what, I'm curious now to see what alternatives there are to Netflix because that's another paid for app or piece of software. So I click on Netflix, it will take you to the Netflix page and it will bring back the best Netflix alternatives for 2021. There you go, and these are all the ones. This is a freemium piece, Streamio. Um, again, it'll give you reviews. Prime Video is another one. Um, Hulu is another one. 
so these seem to be all paid versions and then we come down to the free ones 2B TV, Pluto TV is pretty good, Google TV, so on and so forth. Um, so this is a fantastic website so if you're struggling with that specific app and you want to find an alternative this specific website will allow you to find that alternative is a really good way Spotify I want to see what alternatives there are to Spotify and again it will bring back Deezer is quite um, popular again SoundCloud YouTube music Apple music Bandcamp so on and so forth so this website gives you lots of different alternatives you can choose from and allows you to make that informed decision if you want to if you're not if you're thinking about changing the piece of software or the tool that you've been using all the time so I hope this video has helped you to allow you to make that informed decision of whether you want to keep that piece of software whether you're paying an arm and a leg for that piece of software you want a freer a free version or a cheaper version to to work with it's entirely up to you but I hope this video has helped you uh, please like subscribe and share